Sir Topham Hatt works his engines hard, but they are very proud when he calls them really useful. I'm going to the scrapyard today, Edward called to Thomas. What, already? You're not that old, replied Thomas cheekily. Thomas was only teasing. The scrapyard is full of rusty old parts and machinery. They're broken into pieces, loaded into cars, and Edward pulls them to the steelworks where they are melted down and used again. Today, there was a surprise waiting for Edward in the yard. It was a traction engine. Hello, said Edward. You're not broken and rusty. What are you doing here? I'm Trevor. They're going to break me up next week. What a shame, said Edward. My driver says I only need some paint, polish, and oil to be as good as new. But my owner says I'm old-fashioned. Edward snorted. People say I'm old-fashioned, but I don't care. Sir Topham Hatt says I'm a useful engine. What work did you do? My owner would send us from farm to farm. We threshed corn, hauled logs, and did lots of other work. The children loved to see us. Trevor shut his eyes, remembering. Oh, yes, I like children. Edward set off for the station. Broken up, what a shame. Broken up, what a shame. I must help Trevor. I must. He thought of all his friends who liked engines, but strangely, none of them would have room for a traction engine at home. It's a shame, it's a shame, he hissed. Then, beep, beep, why didn't I think of him before? There on the platform was the very person. Hello, Edward, you look upset. What's the matter, Charlie? He asked the driver. There's a traction engine in the scrapyard, Vicar. He'll be broken up next week. Jem Cole says he never drove a better engine. Do save him, sir. He saws wood and gives children rides. We'll see, replied the Vicar. Jem Cole came on Saturday. The Reverend is coming to see you, Trevor. Maybe he'll buy you. Do you think he will? Asked Trevor. He will when I've lit your fire and cleaned you up. The vicar and his two boys arrived that evening. Trevor hadn't felt so happy for months. He chuffered about the yard. Show your paces, Trevor, said the vicar. Later, he came out of the office smiling. I've got him cheap, Jem, cheap. Do you hear that, Trevor? Cried Jem. The Reverend saved you, and you live at the vicarage now. Beep, beep, whistled Trevor. Now Trevor's home is in the vicarage orchard, and he sees Edward every day. His paint is spotless, and his brass shines like gold. Trevor likes his work, but his happiest day is the church fair. With a wooden seat bolted to his bunker, he chuffers round the orchard, giving rides to children. Long afterward, you'll see him shut his eyes, remembering. I like children, he whispers happily.